and welcome to Something with Sam, S-U-M-T-H-I-N, where we sum things up. I am very excited to bring this message to you. For those of you that kind of follow me on Facebook, you know that I just got blessed. I felt like my daddy just said, go, I want you to get that car because it's a gift from me, uh, from your daddy for graduating, for becoming a doctor, for your honorary doctorate. He just wanted to honor me. And you know, it was such a beautiful thing. The BMW was my favorite car I've ever drove. Like I remember when um, I was asked to go drive every car I wanted to drive. I drove Mercedes, I drove Audi, I drove Lexus. I drove BMW. I drove everything. And, and you know what was so funny is I loved the BMW. But back then, our children were still little. And uh, so, you know, my husband at the time said, go drive everything. Pick out what you want. I didn't know why, but I know now, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. It was probably just a, a guilt offering at that point. But you know what? I loved my BMW. But when I went to go test drive it, there was an M series that I fell in love with. It like hugs you. It like hugs you in the car. Like, oh my gosh, it's like hugs your waist and it's so much fun. And I was like, oh, speeding through stuff as I was test driving it. But I knew that it only had four seats in it and our family couldn't all ride together. So I went ahead and got the five series and I named her Purity because she was white. And, you know, I was so blessed by that car. And over time, you know, we ended up losing that car. And so when I needed a new car this time around, I've been looking at everything, been looking for almost two years. And, you know, God just really blessed me because, you know, I, I started looking at BMWs again and and I just didn't realize why. And I, you know, you, you justify it, you think about it, what are you doing? And I had no idea the depth of what God was doing. And so I found this royal blue BMW hold on it's got an m package on it i can only see four at a time but guess what my kids are all grown it's got an m package and that blue not only represents israel that i've always just loved israel we did hanukkah we never did christmas i've i just love the jewish people and my last name actually means tribe of levite and and so it's got this gorgeous blue but the lord started reminding me that blue is the very exact color that was my color when i first started ministry so many so many years ago it was that blue that represented an open heaven and everywhere I would go everywhere I would go to a revival or a conference it didn't matter how many people were in the audience they would call me up and speak over me and they would say woman of God you walk and you live underneath an open heaven and this color blue just kept standing out to me. And it was so funny because as I've been looking at cars, I was like, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I needed something to get my yayas out. <laughs> I wanted my yayas out. And I looked at this car and I thought, Samantha, you know better. You know better than to test drive something you can't afford. You know better than to try on an outfit you can't pay for. Because if you want something that you can't have, it's just frustrating. So I don't do those things. But the Lord said, go test drive it. I test drove it. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. And I started praying and I said, you know what, God? I had told him I wanted two things on that car that I was going to buy because he's been dealing with me about asking him for what I want and dealing with me because I didn't even know what I wanted. I just wanted whatever God wanted to bless me with, whatever God wanted to give me. So this has been a whole new season for me. Samantha, what do you want? And I've been teaching messages on that. If you can get to anywhere where I'm ministering you should come you should come because I am telling you I love the presence of God and I don't know how to do anything more than build an altar to the king and let him receive his glory as he pours himself out and so I I you know was praying I was on my way to do a little bit of ministry and I said you know what God I want two-tone seats I've been looking and I like those two-tone interior seats and I have to have a remote start God because it's really cold in Tennessee and I need a remote start because I don't like coming out here when it's freezing and have to be freezing cold. I'm a SoCal girl. I like it warm. And so I went to go test drive again. And I said, well, you know, this, this car doesn't have a remote start on it. She said, oh, yes, it does. And I was like, oh, I didn't say anything about the two-tone. But the sales lady looked at me and she said, and I love the blue stitching in the interior. And immediately the Lord said, it's two-tone. And I thought, oh, Lord, I, I won't be able to get this. Let me tell you something. God made a way where there seemed like there was no way because he's God and we're not. And so, you know, I talked to my, my bank, my credit union, get in a credit union. And they were like, we can do this. We can do that. We can do this. Let me tell you something. I got a better warranty 
I pay less monthly, da 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 and all the other things. And God said, this is daddy's present to you for graduating and for saying yes to me again. Because I'm here to tell you, it's not easy to do ministry. And when you've been hurt and abused and wounded, there's sometimes you just want to you just want to like isolate and come away from everything and just sit down and just love people, not from the platform, not from the pulpit, but just in everyday life because so much is expected out of you. And so many people put you on a pedestal and expect you to be perfect. And let me tell you something, I am not perfect. Thank you, Jesus. He's the only one who's perfect. And so he just blessed me. And I was so excited about this car not to mention a little scared to let people know that I got it because you know how people are and you know how y'all talk. And, uh, but it was a blessing to me and I was so excited and I have so enjoyed it and enjoyed worshiping the Lord in it. And it has just done so much for me. But what I didn't realize until I posted it and a Margie Chavez, a great intercessor out of Bakersfield, she posted something in the threads, and I always try to read the threads because I love who you guys are. So I try to take my time to say I like it, I love it. She said, I hear recompense and reward. And all of a sudden, I lit up inside. See, those were two of the three words that God gave me when I came through divorce. The other one is restitution. He said, Samantha, this is my promise to you. I'm going to give you restitution, recompense, and reward through everything you're suffering right now. It's coming, and it's going to come right on time. And I needed to share this with you because there are some of you that have been going through some, some Hades situations. There are some of you that have been suffering financially, physically, with family members in your marriage. You've gone through divorce. You've been going through everything. But God said, release this word to you because he's coming with restitution, recompense, and reward for all of your suffering, for all of your trials, for everything that you have gone through. God is getting ready to bless you. The windows of heaven are open opening up over your life and you did not go through everything you are not going through everything so that you just go through it you're going to go through it because he's got something on the other end of this for you job didn't understand why he was going through those trials he didn't understand why he had boils all over his body he didn't understand why he had lost everything including his kids he lost everything but God had already predestined him. God already knew that he was going to bring him through that for such a time as this. God already knew that Job was going to receive double for his trouble. Job didn't know. Job didn't understand. This was a long season for Job to suffer and sacrifice. But if he would have known that the end was going to look better than the beginning, it wouldn't have been as difficult. See, God doesn't always tell us that the end is going to be better than the beginning. That the end is going to be worth what you went through. He doesn't share all of those things. He just watches you walk through it. He carries you when you need to be carried. He speaks to you in the still, small, quiet voice. When it feels like nobody hears you screaming from the inside out. He's with you at all times. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He's gone ahead of you to make the crooked way straight. He knows your end from your beginning. And you're getting ready to receive double for your trouble. I want to hear, I want you to hear this. Restitution, the definition is an act of restoring. And it was so funny as I was praying and, and, and sharing, which word do we want to give for this Tuesday for something with Sam? I kept hearing restoration. I didn't know that the actual definition of restitution is an act of restoring. It is an act of restoring. Oh, y'all are going to get me praying in the spirit. He's getting ready to restore your family members. He's getting ready to restore you. He is getting ready to restore you and make you better than you've ever been before. Oh, hallelujah. He's getting ready to make good. He's going to give an equivalent amount for an injury. Whatever you had to suffer, God said, I'm going to bless you. And whatever you had to give up, whatever injury you received, be it emotional, physical, financial, God said, restitution is coming. 
restitution is coming and it's only going to be by the hand of God. And this was my favorite. This is still the definition of restitution. It is a legal action. Somebody say courtroom of heaven. It is a legal action serving to cause restoration of your previous state. So I don't know what you lost. I don't know what the enemy stole from you. I don't know what family member did you wrong. It might have been your husband. It might have been your wife. It might have been your children. But God said, I have made a mandate in heaven, in the courtrooms of heaven. And I have decreed and declared that restitution is being released to you right now. The second word is recompense. Oh, and I love this. I love this because not only are you going to get restored to the previous state, no matter what happened, huh, your heart is being restored. Your mind is being restored. Your relationships are being restored. Your financial state is being restored. But hold on, there's more. Somebody say there's more. Recompense is compensation for the damage you endured. So if it was a year, you're going to be compensated for the year that you lost. Oh, somebody better get this in the spirit. If it was two years, if it was three years, if it was eight years, if it was ten years of you suffering, God said, not only am I going to restore you to your, to your previous state, but I'm going to give you something to make up for the years that you had to lose because you could have been doing this in ministry and you could have been doing that in a marriage and you could have been doing this with your finances. You could have been building that business that seemed like it failed. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm not only going to give you restitution, I'm going to give you recompense for all the years that the canker worm has stolen. I'm going to not only put you back in your previous state, I'm going to reward you for all the years that you had to suffer, all the years you had to sit down, all the years you lost your voice, all the years that the canker worm has stolen, all the years that the enemy, the adversary came against you and you were not whole enough, complete enough, healthy enough to produce what I had already told you you could produce. I'm going to give that to you in this season too. So you're not only going to be restored to your previous state, but I'm going to reward you for every year, every month, every hour, every second that you lost, that you couldn't build the kingdom, all those years that you couldn't build the business, all those years that you couldn't do what I needed you to do because of the state that you were in, because of what the enemy did to you, I'm going to give you restitution and recompense. But the R that I love, even more than that is reward and that's because that's above and beyond both of those things he's getting ready to reward you for diligently seeking him he said even if you were faithless through some of those seasons that's when I taught you that I'm faithful even when you're faithless says the Lord I'm gonna reward you why because you're my child, because you're my son, because you're my daughter, because I watched everything, because I am El Roy, the God who sees. I watched it all. I watched what they did to you. I watched who betrayed you. I watched who stabbed you in the back. I watched them and heard them gossip about you. I heard them uh, 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 deny your name. I, I heard them like Peter denied my name, but that's okay, because upon that rock, I'm going to build my church. So even those that denied who you were, even those that gossiped and backbited and murmured and complained and talked about you when you were in your worst state, God said, I heard it all, but I'm coming to make it right. And I'm going to reward you because those words hurt and those friendships lost hurt. So I'm going to reward you with people that are going to walk with you in integrity. They're going to walk with you in loyalty. They're going to give to you, ha, huh, ha, huh, shall men give unto your bosom, glory to God, good measure pressed down, running over, shaken together, shall men give unto your bosom. They're going to come back with love. They're going to come back with loyalty. They're going to come back with finances. They're going to come back with peace. They're going to come back with encouragement. They're going to come back with vision, Jesus. God is getting ready to reward you restitution, recompense, and reward. And let me tell you something. This car that I was so blessed to receive was just 
the beginning. We're just scratching the surface because, honey, we ain't seen nothing yet. God is getting ready to shut the mouth of the enemy and the adversary. Why? Because you're his. Because we belong to him. And no weapon formed against us shall ever prosper. Doesn't say it won't be formed, but baby, it won't prosper. It won't do what it was sent to do. Why? Because only God's word can do that. God's word, he is faithful to watch over it and it will perform what he sent it for to do. Restitution, recompense, and reward. You better get your hands up, get your hands up, get your hands up, and get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, because God is getting ready to bless you for all that you have toiled through all the nights you wept and cried yourself to sleep for every time you questioned God and said, where are you in the middle of this mess? Why aren't you fighting for me? What have I done wrong? Why is this happening to me? Oh, baby, I know it all. I know it all. Not at all, but I know all of those moments. Thank God I don't know it all. I'd be God, and I don't want to be him. He's got too much to deal with. But I do know him, and I do know those moments. Where are you? Why aren't you fighting for me? Why did the prophet say this, but it's the exact opposite that's happening? What did I do wrong? Why are you mad at me? Am I being punished? Why am I being vulnerable in sharing these things with you? Because I want you to know it's normal to go through those things. And it doesn't have to be your end baby let it be your beginning so once again this is something with Sam you never know what we're gonna do I'm 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 moving I'm grooving I'm advancing the kingdom hey, hey, hey. and I want you to get your joy back I want you to get your peace back because he never left you he's just processing you for the journey he was actually depositing some things Ha, he was removing some things. Come on, somebody. He was getting some stuff off of you. Ha, ha, he was getting some things off of you. And sometimes that means some people had to go from your life because they were holding you back from the destiny that he's already predestined you to have. Restitution, recompense, and reward. I love when God does things in threes because three is the number of release. So, it's marked in heaven, it's marked in the earth. This is something with Sam summing it up for you today. Today is your day. It's a new day. Hallelujah. Get your hands up to receive. Get your hands up to receive. Because God is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. And our sons and daughters, we're prophesying. And we're releasing the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord to you today is restitution, recompense, and reward. You might still be going through your trial, but baby, guess what? Job didn't know what the end was going to look like, but I'm giving you some insight. The end is going to be better than the beginning. Ha! The end is going to be better than the beginning. So, you ain't out. It ain't over. Just carry on, soldier. This has been something with Sam. Summing it up for you. It's your time. It's our season. Come alive. Be blessed. Mwah!